It's time for the November energy update. So let's see what we have. I already chose three cards. We have walking away. Ease and grace. I'm kind of excited for this one. I don't even know why. And back to basics. All right. So we're going to dive into each one. See what the, the actual deck writers want to say about that. And I want you to also to kind of get a feeling for just those three things. Walking away, ease and grace, back to basics. What do they bring up for you? And then we'll get on with this reading. Just think about that. All right, so that first card, as I said, was walking away. So let's see. Oh, got to get the eyes on. Let's see what that brings up. Um... I don't know. I'm kind of uh, I'm, I'm kind of feeling really good about this month coming up. It does feel like kind of leaving old things behind, moving into a whole new direction, you know, with ease and grace. Um, and then, of course, back to basics. I think that's the biggest thing with all this spiritual awakening that's been going on is really getting back to basics. You know, keep things simple. Like my guides always tell me, there's no right way. Find your own way. Keep it simple. Sometimes we think things have to be a certain way, but what if they didn't, right? What if there's a very easy way to do what it is you're trying to create in your life or whatever that might be to solve a problem, whether it's with a person or with uh, something in your work, right? Back to basics. Keep it simple. But anyway, I don't really know what that card's going to say. We'll see. That's just my take on it. Um, and I want you to get what you, the words I speak as I say this. I want you to feel for yourself what they mean for you. So walking away, and it came in the upright position, because this deck really matters, whether it's upright or upside down. So it says, this card shows someone walking away from an existing situation. She's closing the gate behind her and walking away into a misty, unknown future. This card upright reveals that it could be time for you to make a similar decision. There may be something that you're finished with, perhaps a career goal, a relationship, or a long-term experience of any kind. The familiarity of the situation may be enticing, but you're now ready to look at your options and on the open road and move ahead. In reality, an important new beginning is at hand. Yeah, that's something to really consider. You know, sometimes we get stuck in our old ways and um, we don't really know how to move out of that and into something new, even if we have that desire, something pulling us towards it. So anyway. So this card also indicates that you that now would be a good time to let go of an old habit, emotional pattern, always, or false belief, of course. I mean, now always is the time to get rid of those things. But anyway, now it must be just coming in even stronger because, of course, there's this, this huge awakening going on and everything is changing. So it says, no matter how deeply ingrained a negative pattern may be, you now have the power to release it and move on to a freer healthier way of thinking and relating to yourself and others. Perfect, right? That's why it's calling. It's like the energy is ripe now for you to get let go of a lot of these things. So it says whether it's uh, with an inner or an outer world, this card is telling you that you have the readiness and resources to walk, walk away from, away from, the, from old the old and move and forward, move forward to, to the new. new. Kind of like it's, it's given us permission, right, to move forward. Um, and that's really cool. All right. Who doesn't like to have permission? <laughs> it makes it feel like it's easier in some way. Um, okay, so the next card was Ease and Grace. All right, Ease and Grace. And uh, let's see, this is, who's this? Kyle Gray's deck. deck. I like this, this deck. It's nice. So let's see what Ease and Grace says. So it says that your message is that this is a time to learn and adapt. Adapt, right? Tying right into that first card. You're being guided to slow down, take your time, take in the current moment, and allow space for events to occur. You often put too much pressure and expectation on yourself, and this is not required. Also, with con constant effort and rush, you'll find yourself becoming overwhelmed and tired. Yeah, and that actually takes the steam out of the engine. You know, it, it, when we start getting bogged down, it kind of diminishes that driving force that is taking us to this new place, right? So ease and grace, you just breathe, 
Everything that needs to come through will come through. You just have to open and allow it. So anyway, um, it says, uh, when, you are, when you are too forceful, you use up too much energy. And that may hinder your progress at this time. Um, if you're in a difficult situation at work or with other people, don't feel you have to prove your skills, talents, or worth. Just step back, breathe, and through grace, you will be seen, understood, and recognized for who you truly are. It's kind of like just giving yourself the freedom to just be who you are. When you allow that opening, I just did a clearing on this on one of my shorts channels. Um, when you allow that energy to flow, it's going to come in the perfect and right way for you without all that forcing it. Because when it's right, truly right for you and your truth, it will just flow. Um, I'll add the word with ease and grace like this card. So anyway, there's an extended message. It says you're being guided to flow like water. Don't feel the need to rush or force your way ahead. A gentle approach will be more rewarding. Have patience and move with subtlety and grace. Your angel guide is encouraging you to see life as a dance. Yeah, I like to look at it like as a game, like a little kid having fun. Like what if we could look at life as a game? Have more of that excited energy behind it instead of that kind of heavy energy uh, about having to get it done, right? Or what to do next. Anyway, one step at a time. You will make your way through this incredible journey, learning more and growing along the way. How can you move with more elegance? They're asking, right? How can you slow down? How can you bring more grace and poise to your current situation? Just think about that. that, that. This is a time to soften, breathe, and move in a way that is steady but flowing. This information may come as a surprise or even as a challenge to you, but your angels know it'll be beneficial for you for what is coming your way next. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Because again, when you allow that flow and you, and you really truly let yourself connect to your higher self and the higher guidance that's there for you, it will just flow through you. There's nothing blocking it when you can get into that space of ease and grace. But when we start pushing you know, that pushing, and I'll put that word in trying. I mean, if you're trying, you're never going to get there, right? You keep trying, 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 trying. That's that energy. Rather than just knowing this is how it is. I'm just moving towards that reality. It's right there. My future self's already done it. Okay, let's go to back to basics. Back to basics. And get the eyes on. All right, back to basics. What do we have? Number four. I, I really can't wait to see what she said. This is Sonia's uh, show cat. Let's see what she says. Back to basics. Uh, your psychic sense and higher awareness are founded on common, common sense, sense, which begins with properly meeting your basic physical needs. As obvious as this sounds, but it's true. If you're like lacking sleep, everything is harder. If you're hungry, everything is harder. You know, if you're not hydrated, everything's harder. Um, if you're not grounded, especially, everything is hard, uh, harder, you know? You want to really just allow yourself. Just go outside, you know, don't touch a tree, walk barefoot on the ground. Um, plant, you know, get into the garden. Like, get into the earth in some way, shape, or form to really ground yourself. Pull yourself back because the more grounded you are, well, guess what? The easier the inspiration can flow. Is that that connection, that heavenly connection comes through so much easier when we're grounded here on this planet that we live on. So it says, as obvious as this sounds, it's easier said than done. Yes, uh, for most people. Uh, yeah, for definitely for most people. I'd say for everyone at some point or the other. As they tend to live in their heads and forget about their bodies. If you neglect your basic needs, your higher awareness will diminish, leaving you to operate on adrenaline and anxiety. In such a state, you miss the finer, more subtle psychic vibrations and you lose your way because you're shutting down that connection, right? That, you know, when you just know something, you don't even know how you knew it. That's where you want to be. You want to be in that space where it just flows. And we do that when we're in the space of ease and grace. Okay, so it says, I don't know, I'm very excited about this reading. <laughs> Self-love and self-care are non-negotiable commitments for the sixth sensory soul, right? So when you're living, and anybody watching my channel knows they're much more than just the body, that we are spirit, and we have these 
other senses. So if you drew this card, it's time for you to raise the bar on your self-awareness. Access your basic habits. Uh, I mean, sorry, assess your basic habits. Are you taking loving care of your body without guilt? Are you getting enough sleep, drinking enough water, eating healthy and loving prepared foods, and getting adequate exercise? Exercise is key. We really need to move our bodies. It doesn't have to be strenuous. You just want to move your body. So you can just dance, you can walk, or you can do any other form of exercise. So it says, if not, you're paying a high price for your neglect and sabotage of your higher awareness. Your body is your greatest psychic receptor. And as a fully committed sixth sensory being, give yourself these things and pay attention to the higher energies of life starting right now. Right, so it is back to basics because your basic is that your spirit and that you have this connection to everything. It's just a lot of people don't realize it. And even if they think they know it, they don't allow it. So you really want to open yourself up and you can do it for yourself or you can get energy clearing to clear the things that prevent you from being in that open space, receiving the inspiration, putting it out there in the world, keeping yourself grounded on this planet, right? Well nourished, all of the, all those basic things taken care of, sleep, food, exercise. Um, it really makes a difference because I know for me, um, and I work in this whole world of energy, oh God, and sometimes I don't realize when I let myself get too depleted to where it like hits me over the top of the head, kind of. And I'm like, oh my God, how did I let myself get here? Right? Even with the awareness I have of all these things, I still do it, right? It's, we, we all do this. So you want to really take more self-care, breathe, allow inspiration to come through. Don't get caught up in that mind, that, you know, that, that chatter that's based on all the old programs and old information, right? It, sometimes it can't see... Unless you're in a high vibration, right? It cannot see what could be coming in and how to implement it in actual physical steps to take on the planet. But when you're in that high vibration and everything is good in your body, you feel your connection to the earth, to spirit, those steps go a lot smoother, right? Everything just gets more flow, more ease. And uh, what was that first card again? walking away so walking away from the old ways of being we can look at it that way so why not make this november a time for you to really kind of like um step back look at what it is that you're wanting to create in your life and then decide okay whatever it was i was doing that wasn't getting me there i now wipe that slate clear right ask spirit i now ask for the clearing of all the energetic, mental, emotional ties that connect between me and all of the struggle to get to where I'm going. Wipe that clear. Let it go. And then ask God to download you with what it feels like to easily sense and see your next steps and to easily nourish your body and take care of your soul so that you can be that light that you are and go out there and create what it is you came here to create in this world. And that's really the thing right now. I think we're all going to be waking up more and more to our truth, who we really are, and how to allow that to freely express in the world. Because as long as it's coming from love and it's for the highest good of not only yourself, but the world, can't go wrong. So anyway, I'll see you on another video. And uh, let's really um, think about this going through November, especially when you come up against some hard energy, right? Maybe watch the video again. I'm like, hold on a second. Let me get back to basics. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today. I'll see you on another video. I always love you to subscribe, like, share, and um, ask me questions. Like, what do you want to know more about in this world of energy and manifesting and realizing your connection to the everything that is and the power that comes with that? I'd love to hear your questions. Bye.